brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Family and friends have confirmed the passing of Brian Cruz, the man who was found unconscious in the back of a sedan over the weekend in the parking lot of Linda's Cafe in East Tagutnya. Cruz, more affectionately called the Ripper for his skills in the surf, had sustained serious head injuries as a result of a blow to the head while out in Tumon Friday night. Court documents state police are piecing together what unfolded that night using surveillance footage from nearby establishments. That footage shows Cruz sustained a blow to the head while out with friends J.C. White, Richard Regadio and Alfredo Castro in Tumon. After Cruz lost consciousness, the men put him in the sedan and went to eat at Linda's Cafe, where a riot broke out and Cruz was discovered in the back of a car. White, Regadio, and Castro were arrested and charged with aggravated assault and rioting. White and Castro posted bail on Tuesday and have been released. Regadio, meanwhile, remains in custody. According to the Attorney General's office, Cruz's death may affect the charges against the defendants. They have not disclosed what those charges may be. The AG's office has also confirmed what we first reported on Monday, that others involved in the Linda's Cafe incident were involved in a riot at the Dededo Dome over the Easter weekend. Liberty Conception, Joven Santos, and Christian Medina are currently on pre-trial release in the Dededo Dome incident. They are set for trial next May. Also charged in the Linda's Cafe incident were Ryan Bigler and Enrique Duenas. The five men were not arrested but will be summoned to appear in court at a later date. Cruz was 35 years old. He is survived by his three children. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.